As a private banker, I have worked with many entrepreneurs and there was also a group of entrepreneurs who started a passive income online. So that's why I have gathered these five facts about passive income business model that I want to present today for you so you can also consider these facts before you make a decision to start your own passive income online and start making money online. Uh, obviously, meeting with those entrepreneurs, I was really lucky to hear their stories and their explanations or on how they started that business. Because obviously, when, uh, when they came to open the bank account, uh, well, some of them uh, would be in the initial stage, I'm not saying, but uh, to open a bank account in a private bank, you usually uh, already have uh, a running business. So most of the entrepreneurs I have spoken to uh, would already have a fully running business. So I was lucky during our meetings to, to hear their stories, how they were starting up. And I can definitely tell you that what I've heard uh, is really far away from get rich quick. Because there is that misconception uh, going on internet that you can start to make passive income online from day one, you know, overnight, getting rich overnight and all those crazy stories. But like any other business, if you want to build a lasting, uh, substantial business, even if it's online, it's still the journey of building up that business. So here I gathered the five facts about passive income business model. The first fact is that you will be creating a value upfront. Like in any other business, whether it's offline or online, you know, it's literally creating that product and providing value and not seeing any financial reward coming back to you in the initial phase. Now, the initial phase for you start to see some, uh, some income coming to your business, uh, that really depends on how much time you have to, to put into your business and how, how well your marketing strategy is. If you obviously, from the beginning, if you already have a certain budget which you can use for extra marketing and you are not working on that business on your own from the beginning, Obviously, your journey towards seeing first profits will be much faster. For someone who doesn't have as much money to invest at the beginning, you would need to start your passive income by yourself and you will be creating and generating traffic by yourself. And this will definitely prolong the time when you're going to be able to see certain profits in your business. However, saying that it's not here to discourage you uh, from starting your passive income, it's just for your information to know what to expect. When I was talking to those entrepreneurs, uh, providing value upfront and not seeing the financial returns, this period of the business would be somewhere in between one to first, uh, to first third year of the business. So first to third year of the business, when you're starting up, this is the time when you, when you will start to see, when you are potentially uh, able to see some income coming to your business, perhaps even to see certain first profits. Saying that, the next step is once you, are, once you created that value and you keep creating that value, you need to build your patience. That was one of the key points that nearly every of those entrepreneurs I spoke with actually mentioned. Maria, you have to be patient because even though that it's online and it's supposed to be faster, it's passive income, it still will take time. It takes time for your video to be found on YouTube. It takes time for your YouTube to be monetized. It, it takes time for, for you to promote your digital product and for, for actually finding those right customers for your product. So having the patience and still continue working and continue providing value to the market while not seeing any financial returns for a year, two, or even three years when you're starting your business. So in this, in this initial phase, you will definitely need the patience. So that's the second fact 
of passive income business model, which was mentioned by nearly every entrepreneur I actually spoke who started a passive income. The third fact of a passive income business model is that uh, you will need to market your product. You will need to let people know that your product exists. Some of the entrepreneurs I, I actually spoke to, uh, they told me that uh, literally you would have many people who would start passive income online because it sounds so easy, but then they would just create a product upload it to the to the selling platform whatever your selling platform is and then just sit and wait but this is not really how it works you have to let people know that your product exists so marketing is the way how you actually let people know that your product is on the market what are the main benefits of that product and uh, and literally tell them why is your product the right thing for your customers so marketing and letting people know that your product exists is the third fact in passive income. So when you create a digital product, you need to also create a supporting platform where you're going to present it, whether it's going to be a social media, whether it's going to be a YouTube channel, but you need to have a certain supporting source where you are going to present your your business and your products and your business and what are the benefits of your products. Or the fact of the passive income business model is that you need to continue creating that, uh, creating that content, being patient, market it until you actually build your passive income, your business up to that momentum. So you really need to continue through that initial phase to get your business up to the momentum. The momentum is that fact, that point when you are not anymore so reliant on marketing of your business because your business is now uh, very well spread and people are aware of it. They know what the benefits are. And you also already have a certain, a certain group of returning customers. So like this, your business really got to that point, to that momentum where it became sustainable for the next couple of years for a long run. When you, got, when you get to this momentum, you should already start to see profits in your business. And this is then uh, related to the next fact, to the fifth fact of passive income business model, that you need to get to this point of taking credit out of your business. Like every business owner, you starting your own your own business with the with the idea of reaching your financial goals. Yes, you want to provide a value to the market, which is essential. But you also have a certain financial goals for yourself you want to achieve. So keeping this in mind, once you have that business which is in momentum, people are well aware, and you start to see the profits. This is the time when uh, you start to consider give yourself credit because we all want to be motivated for the coming years. And even you as a business owner, you invest your time into creation and you know from the beginning that you will not be able to, to actually get any money of your business. But eventually you really want to get to that point that you also receive that credit, that the reward out of your business. These are really the five facts related to passive income business model. I was really, really lucky as a private banker that I got the opportunity to speak to many entrepreneurs who were successfully running passive incomes online. I would have to say that mainly I spoke with people who would have a successful business related to affiliate marketing white labeling and e-commerce. These were really the three main types of passive income which I came across. I know that there are many other types of passive income you can, you can start, but these were the main three I came across as a private banker when I, when I worked with entrepreneurs. So let me know in a comment section below whether you are considering starting your passive income online and in the meantime subscribe to the channel like the video and i will see you in the next one